everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about the midi skirt, how to style it and where it should hit on the leg. I hope everyone's had a lovely week so far. If you've missed it, this is my third YouTube video, so I'm super excited you've come to watch another one of mine. And if you really like the video, please remember to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It absolutely makes my day when people do that. All right, so the midi skirt, it's one of those pieces that I think a lot of people are a little bit too scared to wear. And not because they think it's too out there, I think it more comes down to body shape and height. I think anyone who is on the slightly shorter side, they might be feeling like it's gonna make them look even shorter if they wear it. I get people that say that they think it's gonna make them look wider if they put it on, particularly with the addition of pleats. And people are unsure of where these mini skirts are supposed to end, how you're supposed to style them, and whether or not they're a skirt that they could actually pull off. So I hope to, in this video, convert you into a mini skirt wearer because it is actually a universally flattering piece. And if you focus on how mini skirts are supposed to fit, as opposed to all those body shape rules, you'll actually be able to wear the mini skirt. Fit does amazing things to people in their wardrobe. So let's focus on that. Now, I wanted to show you a selection of looks that I've put together, kind of spread across a few different levels of formality. I've got some casual looks. I've put in quite a few looks that I think could actually work for work um, or could work in a more smart, casual environment. And a few looks in there that you could wear out and some looks in there that if you were to maybe add a pair of heels to it, you could actually dress it up into a much smarter going out outfit. So this first look is actually the very first midi skirt I ever purchased and I feel like midi skirts that have an asymmetric hem are actually more kind of entry level midi skirts. They're super flattering, they show off different parts of your leg and they also come up nice and high on the waist. I decided to wear this one a bit more casually in this outfit. Um, I paired it with a matching kind of, it's like a suede biker jacket and it's in a very similar kind of blue teal color. Um, and doing the same color uh, on top of each other, it's quite a flattering and elongating look. Um, I've also added in a white t-shirt with my my white sneakers and I just picked those up in the outfit as well. So for this next look I've actually paired a rust kind of coloured pleated midi skirt in a slightly shinier fabric with a woven leather belt. And instead of actually doing up the belt in the normal way I've decided to knot it just to give it a bit more of a relaxed look. I then paired it with a matching pair of brown sandals and just a simple camisole and that was a really easy look to throw on and you could even put on a slightly nicer pair of shoes or a slightly nicer cami with it to dress it up for a night out. Next I've got a bit more of a work look, but this could also work for going out as well. You could just change the shoes. It's just a simple wrap top, it's long sleeve, fits in at the waist really nicely, and then I've just added in a black pair of shoes to match the polka dots. Next, I wanted to layer up a little bit. So I took the same skirt, I added a sheer black button up, I rolled up the sleeves, and I put one of those long line kind of sleeveless trenches on with it and added a belt over the top. This is a kind of a cool look that you could layer up and you could even throw a coat over this if you needed to in winter, or you could swap out the shirt for more of a knitted jumper or a sweater as some people call them. Um, and this was just a really easy layering look and it made the skirt stand out quite a bit because of the contrasting colors. Then I just wanted to do a really simple outfit. So I just took my cotton 
button-up shirt that I got from Country Road and I rolled up the sleeves, tucked it in and then I just put on a really simple pair of black kind of small stack heeled shoes and these shoes have a little bit of a gold buckle on it just to kind of add a little bit of something interesting to it. So you can always wear the midi skirts at work, I think it just matters what type of top you put in it, maybe don't show off as much skin as say a camisole would show, maybe use a button up shirt instead or at least something that maybe covers the arm. Then I decided to make it a little bit more wintry and I added in a pink knitted top and this is just a really nice soft pink and I've got to say this pink knit, I got this quite a few years ago, it was given to me at a media event that I went to for, I think it was Sportscraft and I remember seeing the colour and thinking oh I don't know about that colour considering the colour of my skin and I was a bit worried about it but when I pair it with some lighter tones it actually looks really nice together so I wanted to pick up the pink. Um, do a bit of a cream kind of look with it and just keep it kind of harmonious in color And I think this looks really nice and simple. It's really soft. It's very feminine um, And it was just a really nice way to be able to kind of make this look a little bit more wintry and a bit more work appropriate So with this next look, I wanted to make a look that could either be worn casually if you wore some sandals with it or some leather boots with it, or you could wear it through work or even going out just by changing a shoe or changing a bag. This particular look is just a printed top, a belt and my midi skirt. Now with this top, the reason I picked it was because it actually picks up some of the oranges that are in the skirt and I wanted to kind of show that off a little bit more. This top is actually a long sleeve top so I pulled up the sleeves and then I also did a little bit of a front tuck. I didn't want to do a full tuck because I thought that might look a little bit too put together. So I just softened the look a little bit by tucking in the front. I showed off that belt a bit and I let the back of the shirt hang out a little bit more. Then I decided to go for a little bit more of a contrasting look. So I wore a blue and white stripey top with my blue and it's kind of like a chalk stripe or a pinstripe blazer. It's double breasted, I pushed up the sleeves a little bit and I have my orange skirt on again and I decided just to match in my jacket with my shoes just to kind of kick it up a notch. And I think this look could also be worn to work maybe in more of a business casual environment but you could definitely wear this look out casually as well to see friends, um, maybe even go to the movies in. I just really liked being able to add a bit of a fun blazer to this look and still have it look flattering on the body because these skirts can feel very unflattering. So I tucked in my top underneath, then I put the blazer on top just to create a really nice long line throughout my body. So next I wanted to do a bit more of a going out look. So I took a top that's an off the shoulder, kind of floral Hawaiian print top that still had a bit of that orangey tone in the print. And instead of tucking it in, I just brought it up and tied it in the front. And then I paired it with a really fun gold earring and a really fun kind of bright pair of gold sandals. So now let's answer some common questions we have about midi skirts. So the first one is where should a midi skirt hit on the leg? So the ideal place for a midi skirt to hit on the leg is in an area that isn't the widest part of your calf. So either just below your widest part or just above your widest part. So that's usually that kind of curve just below your knee or the curve that just comes slightly down from the calf 
slightly more towards your ankle. The midi skirt is not supposed to be sitting at your ankle. So if it is, it's too long for you. You need to bring it up a little bit. They call it midi because it's mid calf. If you are quite tall, you might find that going for a slightly longer version of it that goes on the lower part of the calf could be more flattering for you. If you're on the slightly more petite side, I think doing either the asymmetric hem or going for that style that is just below the knee, just above the widest part of your calf is gonna be the most flattering area for you to do it. And what about where should a midi skirt sit? I see a lot of people trying on clothing in fitting rooms. I know that might sound a little bit creepy. Um, so just as a preface, I'm not a creep. I'm a fashion stylist. And when I'm in a fitting room or when I'm in a shop, I'm often seeing people come out of the fitting room uh, and look in the mirror and they're often not wearing the garment the way that it is supposed to be worn. And it's not that they styled it badly or anything like that. What they've often done is they're not actually wearing the skirt or the garment on the part of their body where it should be hitting. So this happens a lot with skirts. People are often wearing them on their mid waist um, or their low waist rather than their high waist. And the midi skirt is supposed to be worn on your high waist. A good little way to check if you're wearing the skirt in the right area of your body is jump onto that retailer's website and just check in the photos. Does the model have it on on her mid waist? Has she got it on on her high High waist more often than not the midi skirt is a high-waisted garment and the reason it's high-waisted is because it is so long and we need to create a really nice long looking lower half of your body to be able to pull off the midi skirt if you want to learn more about fit for different types of clothing I've actually written a book where one of the chapters deeply goes into the fit of each type of garment that you could be having in your wardrobe so I'll leave a 20 page sample of that book in the description if you want to come back next Sunday I'm gonna have another video waiting for you please like the video subscribe to the video leave a comment if you liked it or if you have any ideas for future videos and I'll see you guys next week.